Hi, it's me, Jazzy. I'm back with another tech-related video, and today it's another mailbag. That's because I am surrounded once again by boxes, so I was kind of hoping you'd help me to open some of them. So let's grab a handful of boxes. I've no idea what on earth's been turning up. Some of this is stuff I've ordered weeks or months ago, so let's get some of them over on the bench and take a look inside. Right, this is a big one. What on earth's in this? says it's two kilos apparently whatever it is two kilos narrows it down well packed all right let's get rid of the box there we go all right can't fault this packaging can you wow I don't know which is the top and which is the bottom. We're gonna find out though. I spend a lot of time opening things. Right, uh, and we've got another layer. It's like past the parcel for electronics. Now then, it's getting smaller. I'm seeing a wooden box. I seem to have a lot of wooden boxes. I'm seeing a wooden box with Mega on it. You know that's going to be good. Made by Mega Instruments Limited, Dover, Kent, England. I know where that is. I went there once. So we've got hinges on the back and catches there. Box is not bad, needs a bit of a polish, but it's all right. Look at this, is a beauty. A Meg Ohm meter, MM29. We got some test leads here. Very nice. Now look at this, this is quite a bit of kit. Now this is one that I bought for my little collection that's in nice condition. I keep an eye out constantly on eBay and if something comes up that is very cheap or within my price range sometimes if you if you're just in an auction at the right time of day on the right day when there's not that many people bidding you can get some really good stuff for good prices that's nice isn't it the protective cover so you get test voltage here 100 250 500 thousand you can reverse the meter then we've got charge I love these buttons on off look at that Cal zero discharge these are fantastic I love these calibrate zero oh that's a little bit stiff might need a little bit of a service I believe look at this that's nice looks great looks in excellent condition the only thing I would note is these are really, really stiff. Probably just wants a little bit of a service, but it's an absolute beauty of a thing. Simplified connection instructions in the top there. Measurement of earthed insulation samples and non-earthed insulation samples. So it tells you how to connect it up correctly. Well, that's very nice. I don't believe that's going to need a lot doing to it at all. A bit of a polish up and maybe a bit of a service. That we've got a battery here. Mm hmm, mm hmm. And then we have a little lucky. Haha, <laughs> haha, look at that. Now that's old school. That's proper old school, isn't it? It's been a while since I've clocked one of those. Sort of thing you'd have in your old radio. Amazingly doesn't look like it's leaked. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ever ready blue. Look at that. PP9. 9 volt. Oh, that's a later one though. It's got a barcode on it. Now there's, of course, there's no juice left in that. But you never know. <laughs> Optimism. Of course. Always. Always. 
Slight bulge on the top there. It's a cool thing though, isn't it? Just don't see them anymore. Good old PP9. We got away there because there's no, no signs of any leakage on the battery there. Seems wise to leave that out just in case. Excellent. Look forward to giving that a good once over and a good clean. Okay. Right, what have we got next? Okay, another big one. What on earth is in this? Well, let's have a look. I'm gonna have a lot of recycling to do again. Not the best packaging I have ever seen. It looks like something's been nibbling. Right, let me get a box to put that polystyrene in. We seem to have a history here of scopes not being packed very well, don't we? Remember the Farnell one that arrived in just a bag? That was madness. This is a Phillips. We have quite a few dead Phillips scopes around here been sent in for parts I think for another one that we've got somewhere and it's uh, it's a little bit older than my fluke Phillips that you've seen on the channel it's like the previous range this is a PM3055 60 megahertz this one's seen better days but we've got another one somewhere lurking around in storage that's in better condition. But this is just for parts. It's actually not too bad. It's in worse. Got various calibration labels and stuff on it. What have we got on here? Let's see. Electronic testing calibration limited. I wonder if they're still going. It's rather yellow, isn't it? Systems Engineering and Assessment Limited. I quite like these, this line of scope. I think this is just after they moved from the, like the browny gray colored finish to the cream, which looked a lot more modern, but unfortunately does discolor quite a lot, but not bad. Hmm, okay. Well, hopefully between the two of them we might be able to yield one working unit. Fun times. What's next? Right, let's see what we got in this one. Now I thought this was an Amazon delivery at first, but it says eBay simple delivery. So it's obviously just some recycled packaging and why not? It's very good packaging. Now, another eBay find. Bargain hunting on eBay is one of my pleasures. Right, okay, random loose bubble wrap and a box. Ah, the 680R. Ah, here we go. Yep, this is an ice tester. No, it's not for testing ice. This is the Milano Ice Super Tester. 680R and it's got the original owner's manual with it which is rather nice oh look at this this is nice to see you don't get this these days do you very nice okay fourth edition the Milano Super Tester the Milano Ice Super Tester. Now, it doesn't measure ice, but it measures many, many other things. Now, <sighs> this one attracted me because, as usual, things I love. Original box, original instructions, really nice condition, and a really good deal. All things I love. So what do we have here? It is very nice indeed. The Super Tester. Made in Italy by ICE, which stands for Industria 
Costruzione Electromechanique. Apologies for my attempt at Italian there. We've got loads of different ranges. Each one requires you to plug into different sockets down here. I haven't even looked into all the things it can do. We will have a closer look at this in a future video. I think we need to do a tear down and have a look inside. Connect to there. Nothing on that side. Plastic case. Not usually a fan of plastic cased retro meters, but this one's just so nice. And in the back, the back opens up, and I believe we've got, yes, we have all the probes. There's the connector, power connector, which I'm going to need an adapter because that's not going to fit any of my sockets. And um, we've got some leads here, and we've even got some alligator or crocodile clips, whichever you prefer. Hungry crocodile, by the look of it. Okay, it's nice to have, I love having all the bits and bobs with something like this. It's a really, really nice meter in nice condition. And I love that you get the book with it. Even got the circuit there, look at that. So you can do DC volts, AC volts, you can do current measurement, DC current in milliamps, AC current there, resistance, so you can measure low resistances using the low impedance setting, apparently you can do capacitance as well, I see, okay, so plug in there for capacitance, you can do frequency measurements, it does a lot this thing for such an old model, it's really cool, got a lot going for it. I like it. Awesome. The Milano Ice Super Tester 680R. Fantastic. Right. Okay. Pop that to one side and let's see what have we got next. Right. Okay. Let's see what we got in this one. Well, it's fragile apparently. Let's find out. Not much in the way of clues, unless it's champagne. I very much doubt it. No, it's newspaper. Lovely. Okay, right. What have we got in here? Loads and you've got. Oh, I know what this is. Right, this is for an upcoming video. Very well packed, I will say. Bonus points for packaging. This is a kit of educational logic boards. There you go. Kent Electronics. This is and or not gate. I think and or there's various other ones in there. So this is all for an upcoming video, which may or may not have already gone out, depending on the order of proceedings. Sometimes videos change their running order, but this is uh, instructions here. Lovely. Okay. So this is from Kent Electronics. It's a little bit vintage, and these are various logic boards. There you go, there's your NAND gate. If you're familiar with logic gates, there's an upcoming episode on logic gates, and we're going to take a look at some really cool stuff. So I won't go much into this, because you're going to see this in a video that is going to come out at some time soon. So we've got all loads of other boards here, diodes and things. Uh, we've got a 5 volt regulator there to supply power. It's going to be very, very cool. So I'm not going to go too much into detail on this. Don't want to give too many spoilers away, but you will see these in a upcoming episode about logic gates. Fantastic. What is next? Right, we've got another one here. What's this one? Every. Might be an eBay one. Got to keep me off of eBay just too many undiscovered bargains out there. What have we got? Loads and loads of bubble wrap. Well, there's never a shortage of bubble wrap here. Oh, look at this. this is a beauty. This is, this is my timer clock. Now this, I've seen a few of these, but this one has added extras. 
Now, I wanted a timer to use in videos, which is a little more scientific than using my iPhone to time stuff. Oh, this is wonderful. And I saw this one come up on eBay. And it's gonna need a little bit of love, like everything that I buy off of eBay. It's gonna need a little love. Here we go. So this is the Griffin Centi Second Timer. I've seen a few of these come up, but this is the first one that I've seen that's got these extra digits here and the little wheel here that resets them, which is very pleasingly clicky. So you can use that to reset that to zero. There we go. And then you've got a reset there for the main timer. That's pleasingly clunky. Obviously we've got a terminal here that needs replacing. It's gonna need having a look inside, checking it over, seeing what the wiring's like, but it's a beautiful thing. Oh, we've got the kind of got the instructions for use on the back there. South Lanarkshire Council Education Services. Okay. And it's got an okay nice plug on it. Ever ready? Like me. Ever ready for eBay bargains. This is a very lovely thing. I'm really happy with this. This is wonderful because it looks in great condition. Just got to replace the terminal there. Check it out internally, make sure it all works. But for timing things for experiments and videos, awesome, love it. What a lovely bit of kit. So there we go, another mailbag and another batch of really cool stuff for me to take a look at. Some real gems in there that you'll see in upcoming episodes, including this rather lovely timer clock. I'm really taken with this. I've been looking for one of these for a while for the channel. Sometimes we test stuff that's time sensitive and we need to get a result I just think this is a thing of beauty so there'll be an episode coming up where I'm going to replace the terminals we'll have a look inside make sure it's all good check it over electrically and then we can get it up and running I'm really chuffed with that so I hope you've enjoyed today's mailbag video and thank you for all your comments on the mailbag videos they are most helpful sometimes I unbox something and I don't recognize what it is or someone knows the history of that particular item that's great I always love keeping an eye out for a bargain I love finding old test equipment lab equipment some of it is really really fascinating I've always got an eBay tab open somewhere just in case that elusive bargain comes along so thanks for watching today hope you've enjoyed this mailbag video as always massive thanks to everyone for watching sharing liking and subscribing if you do want to go ahead and hit the subscribe button it's always massively appreciated and helps me to support the channel I'll be back soon with some more tech related videos but in the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next one.